Hey, this is Bhavani Gola. Welcome back to my channel. As educators, we always try to use YouTube resources to educate our students. And many of us do take those YouTube videos and embed into our courses. That could be a Canvas, your Blackboard, your Doodle or D2 L, Moodle, whatever LMS that you're using. In today's session, I will demonstrate how can you take one extra step and transcribe your YouTube videos and make sure you're accessibility compliant and you're reaching your students where they are, giving them all different modalities of learning your course content. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And I will also discuss why it is important to take that one extra step to transcribe your videos, even though YouTube is doing it for you. So let's dive right into it. So here is a YouTube video that I would like to embed. To do that, I'm going to click on share option, click on embed code, click on copy, come back to my canvas, toggle between rich text editor and HTML editor, simply paste the HTML code, toggle back to see if it's okay. Name this as a sample video. Well, that didn't work, sample video. And let's go ahead and save and publish this. And as you can see, the video did publish. And if this is not your video, and if you did not create this video, yes, YouTube does create automatic captions, but not always accurate, which can hinder accessibility for students with hearing impairments and or learning disabilities. Keep in mind, many educational institutions are legally required to meet this accessibility standard. So let me show you how you can take one extra step, transcribe your video, and ensure that all students have that equitable access to your course material. Let's go ahead and click on edit. But before I do that, let's go back to the YouTube video. Let's close this, scroll all the way down, click on show transcript. Sometimes this will be hidden. It's going to be something like this. So click on more, show transcript. And as you can see, the transcript is all the way to the right hand corner. Click on these three ellipses. And when you click on toggle timestamp, the timestamp automatically disappears. Let's go ahead and copy this whole thing. Open up a new Word document and place it right here. Oops, I don't need this. Let me turn this off. And as you can see, this is definitely not formatted. Let me show you a trick on how to format this and make this into one whole transcript. I'm gonna click on this little edit search option editing. Click on replace. And as you can see, let me delete this. You're gonna click on the power symbol that's right above number six on your keyboard which is something like that. You're gonna click on lowercase p, click on this replace and make sure you give a space and then click replace all, okay, and close. And as you can see, now everything has been formatted. Here you have an option to change and edit, make W capital if you want to change the spellings and if you wanna make them into paragraphs, you can do so but I'm just gonna copy this for now, Control A, Control C, go back to my canvas, click all the way here and make sure I transcript and then I forgot an S, transcript, enter, paste, and let's go ahead and save this now. And this is how it's going to look with the transcript. Now, what you're doing is embedding the transcript directly into the LMS keeps all the course material in one place. And it makes it very easy for students to locate. And they don't have to shift between platforms for this transcript. And you're improving the comprehension because they can read and follow the video. And sometimes students do like to take notes while they're watching. So that extra resource is also available. Now let's just say you're teaching in United States and this video can play in United States, but your student has to go on a vacation to a different continent. And if the video doesn't play, then this transcript acts as a backup for your video. 
and you're customizing all of this for your students and making sure you are supporting those diverse learners. But let me show you, let me take one step further and let me show you what we can do with the use of AI. So here I'm gonna grab this window here. So all I did was I typed in, let me zoom this in. I said, without changing the text or editing the grammar, change the below information into paragraphs. I copied and pasted the entire transcript that I copied from YouTube and boom, ChatGPT makes this into the paragraphs for me. So all I'm going to do is copy this, da, 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 control C, go back to my canvas, click on edit and delete all of this and paste and then come back and save. And as you can see, this looks much more polished, but please, I cannot specify how important it is for you to read every line before you publish it. Just for the video's sake, I did not take time to read, but this you have to make sure you read every single line before that is available to your students. Just by taking that one extra step, you are making sure you're accessibility compliant, you're integrating your course materials into your LMS where students don't have to switch platforms, you're improving their comprehension, you're giving them a backup resource, you're customizing the transcript, you're supporting those diverse learners, and just including the text version of this audiovisual content makes your institution compliant and making sure you are also compliant with the institution policies. I hope you learned something in this quick video. I hope you also learned the importance of transcribing any YouTube video that you're using in your LMS. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think other educators need to watch this video so they can take that step too, please make sure you share this with other educators. Like always, happy, happy teaching. And please do not forget to take care of yourself.